biggest recruiter of terrorists in the States is the FBI. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, Chris Morris is a writer slash comedian. He's featured in sitcoms like The IT Crowd and he's written and directed the movie Four Lions. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Yeah, that sounds very nice. Good for him. What use is that for us? Well, what's useful to us is the research that he's used to base his movie on. And that is that there are at least 300 cases whereby the FBI has created terrorists. Because the FBI have accidentally, it seems, developed a system which works rather well. And the system is they make up a terrorist plot they find someone to try and carry it out. Bribe them. Then you surround them with false friends, informants, who will offer them money and friendship. And then arrested them. To try and lure them along a sort of carefully scripted program of self-incrimination. All to show the public that they are indeed protecting them and doing something. Yes, if I may take the FBI's side for a second, it sort of works like this. You're freaked out by 9-11 you have to cover yourself because you're implicated in some of the sloppy procedures that led to 9-11. So you talk the threat up, you say there's a sleeper cell in every city, and then you go and find it. Now you don't know what you're looking for, and classically in the FBI you talk about other people, you other, you look at brown and black people because they are more likely, you think, to be a problem. Now bear in mind that the guy interviewing is a journalist, and the guy being interviewed is a comedian. Well as a journalist having watched it, obviously my immediate reaction was to go and look up the figures, try and see what else I could find. And it is incredible that this has happened on such a scale. And we're hearing the journalist say that after watching the movie, that caused him to look into the research and the facts. I mean, God save us mate, when journalists are learning from comedians. How is it that we learn facts like this? but yet things carry on going on as normal, Muslims continue being victimized and Islam continues being blamed. I just think there's no will to examine it. I mean I think that once George Bush said you're either for us or against us, there was a kind of division in American society between us and them, which had always been there but it was somehow legitimized by the government and the FBI acted on that same impulse. So the people they're investigating, they will not investigate white extremists they still place eco-terrorists above right-wing white extremists because they just have an innate reluctance to stare the truth in the face and they are very good at putting different communities, minority communities under suspicion. Well there you have it. At the very least, Muslims should be up to date with such research because a lot of people shy away from Islam because they feel that Islam is the reason for terrorism. When in reality, terrorism is being exploited by countries for its political, social and economic benefits. To such a degree that the consistent reporting of the media against Islam and Muslims is enough for even the best of us to start questioning, you know what, maybe it is Islam. And to be fair, even I once upon a time fell into this trap as well. But then when I started researching into this, I realized what a dirty game it actually was. That's all I've got to say guys, research it for yourself and you gotta know this and you gotta spread the message. Otherwise people's hair after is being ruined because of the messed up mentalities of our leaders and the people that are supposed to be responsible and in charge. I mean you saw here, journalists, we rely on them, but hey journalists are clueless because they're just reading from a script that's been handed to them. Let's leave it there, hope you guys benefited, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, hit the bell icon and until next time, <coughs> Salaamu Alaikum.